Hello guys and welcome to beautiful Serbia, home of Novak Djokovic, Nikola Tesla, and me for the past month. Hello everybody, this is Doug coming to you from Belgrade, Serbia. I hope you're all having a great day. I just wanted to make a quick video to explain what the heck I'm doing in Belgrade, what I've been up to, and give you guys a bit of an update on what I have planned for the channel and what's coming next. So let's get into it. If you're anything like a lot of my American friends and family, you might be wondering where the heck is Serbia? And first of all, gotta clarify, it's not Syria, it's not Siberia, it's Serbia. So it's a country in the Balkans in kind of Eastern slash Southern Europe. And I'll throw a map up here on the screen so you can check it out. It's near Croatia, it's near Montenegro, Romania, uh, Hungary. So far I've had an absolutely amazing time. I've met some great people. Unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to make so many videos here, really any actually, because I've basically been hunkered down here for the past month, staying in an Airbnb, working on finishing editing all of my videos from my recent Egypt trip. And I really haven't seen nearly enough of Belgrade, let alone the rest of Serbia. So I am definitely going to be back here, hopefully when it's a little warmer out. <laughs> definitely be back here to make a whole series about Serbia and hopefully even the greater Balkans area, different countries around this area, because I think it's a really cool part of the world as far as I can tell, you know, from my limited experience here, and I'm really excited to explore more of it, and I think you guys will enjoy seeing it too. By the way, check out this awesome Orthodox church behind me. I believe it's called St. Mark's. Pretty cool. There's a lot of Orthodox churches all over the city, so next time I'm back in Serbia, we'll definitely show you guys more of that. Now guys, if you are new to the channel, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Doug. I am a travel vlogger here on YouTube. I'm from the United States. I'm 24 years old and I'm originally from Connecticut, small state kind of in between New York and Boston. But I lived the past two and a half years in New York City in midtown Manhattan working in the e-commerce industry. Not gonna lie guys, it is super cold here right now. Cold enough for me to wear my, you know, goofy hood on this video. <laughs> it was actually super warm here before, so it's been going back and forth. Guys, has anyone else noticed that a uh, face mask, you know, in these times of corona actually works pretty well as a face warmer? I use it like that all the time, like even when I'm not near people, just to keep my face warm. Pretty nice. All right, guys, and behind me, you have the uh, National Parliament Building of Serbia. It's a really cool building. And uh, they're having some kind of rally there right now. I have no idea what it's about. I speak like three words of Serbian. But they were playing fun Serbian music before, so we like that. And guys, look at what the main post office in Belgrade looks like. This is Pošta, Pošta, post office. It's like the most intimidating post office I've ever seen. I think this thing behind me is a World War One memorial. It has, you know, the faces of, I believe, like soldiers on the front of it. And I normally would never climb on something like that or disrespect it, but this definitely has stairs on it. And I, I think I'm gonna climb up and check it out. I hope I don't get in trouble. Let's see. All right, I made it. Yeah, you can see the protest, or I don't know if it's a protest or a political rally or something happening over there, parliament building, nice. All right, down we go. It's so cold. Oh. So guys, right behind me there is the Hotel Moskva, Moscow. That's the most famous hotel in the city. It looks really cool from the outside, but I definitely was not staying there. All right, let's keep it moving. 
Guys, Serbia, at least Belgrade so far, has been such an interesting mix of architecture because you've got like those really old European style buildings, like, you know, the parliament that I showed you, but then you've also got, you know, the communist influence from the uh, times of Yugoslavia. You know, Serbia is basically the heart of the former Yugoslavia, so you've got a bunch of buildings like this. All right, guys, it's life update time. So as I mentioned before, for the past two-ish years, I was working in New York City in an e-commerce job for a big American company at the same time that I was making these vlogs in Saudi Arabia. But back in August of 2020, the company laid off hundreds of people, including me. So that got me to thinking, what am I gonna do next? And basically I decided I love making these videos, love interacting with all of you guys here on YouTube. So I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna go and travel and try to really just make as many videos as I can, visit as many different places in the world as I can, and see if I can uh, do this on a more full-time basis. So that's what I'm doing in Serbia. That's why I'm here. And it's what I'm gonna be doing for the foreseeable future. I don't really have an end date in mind yet. Booked a one-way ticket here like two months ago. And like I said, I've been working on the Egypt videos and unfortunately I had to leave Egypt early last time I was there so I've been kind of dying to get back there and finish what I had planned and visit some other places including Alexandria and Aswan and the Red Sea so that is where I'm going tomorrow I'm getting on a plane with my negative COVID test in hand and going back to Egypt. So I'm super excited about that. I'll be flying into Sharm el Sheikh, gonna spend some days around there, probably in Dahab. Then I'm gonna go to Alexandria, Cairo, Aswan, and maybe some other places along the way. That's a loose plan, but I don't really have anything booked yet. So yeah, guys, that's basically what my plans are for the next, I don't know, three months, six months, year, two years, I don't know. Obviously, it's, it's a tough time to be embarking on this kind of a thing right now with COVID, but I do think that we're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel with vaccines, and, uh, you know, I'm going to continue to travel uh, as safely as possible. So, yeah, guys, that is my update. Thank you guys so much for watching, and let me know where you'd like me to go next. I'm always looking for new places to travel, so let me know where you'd like to see me go down in the comments below. And yeah, I really appreciate you watching this video and taking the time to check out my channel. And guys, if you did enjoy it, please do not forget to subscribe. As long as you guys keep watching these videos, I'll keep making them. So thank you so much for the support, and I'll see you soon with my next video from Egypt. Bye-bye.